So here comes Kayrat Yuraliyev, the 18th ranked boxer in the world from Kazakhstan, the reigning 2017 Asian Championship bronze medalist. And he has had a terrific tournament so far, because in the second preliminary round, after beating the man from Mexico in the first preliminary round, he got himself a revenge victory. He got his first win in a three-fight rivalry against Murajov Akhmedaliyev, eliminating him at that second preliminary round for a quarter-final victory for the man from Germany. His opponent is the reigning European Championship gold medalist, Peter McGrail. From Everton in Merseyside, ranked number 13 in the world, the tournament number 14. He too has had a sensational tournament so far. And in the quarter-final, had a 4-1 point decision victory over Lionel Dos Santos of the Dominican Republic, eliminating the tournament number 5 seed. This confirmation of what was a comfortable win over Germany's Omar El Hag, where Euralia was absolutely sensational. Two top quality boxers again here, Ronald. Two safe balls. Uh, so this is going to be a close one. Two, two get the tactics right, especially in the opening round. Very important, obviously, to get that first round under your belt. Looking forward to this one. Well, just this final moment of instruction from beyond the rope. Israel has his gloves checked by the official. Two men now brought together for the final instruction. Vasco from the Philippines is the referee. And this one promises to be an absolutely intriguing contest between two skillful operators. <laughs> so we're underway then. 56, kilo, 56 kilogram bantamweight action. This the semi-final stage both of these men guaranteed at least championship bronze in this battle of southpaws the man wearing red is Kayrat Yuraliyev ranked number 18 in the world 26 years of age the reigning 2016 two-time national championship gold medalist his southpaw left hand wasn't too far away and his opponent is a four-time national champion of England a four-time national champion of Great Britain he's ranked number 13 in the world and that is Peter McGrail movement one of the hallmarks of McGrail's boxing he's terrific in the pocket when seemingly in punching range but moves so effectively around the clock face just hitting and moving always presenting a different angle to his opponent there's a nice start for left from McGrail yeah the problem that Urelliev is going to have here is the movement from McGrail and the man in blue is, is very accomplished indeed with his movement he's hitting and moving from side to side and that's what he's got to do against uh, the man in red. Uraliev, he prefers his, his opponents to, to stand and trade with him. He's a, he's, he's a fairly powerful man, is Uraliev. But the problem for him will be controlling McGrail's movement. So that's what McGrail has got to do. He's got to hit and move, and Uraliev has got to try and slow his feet down. Uraliev putting all of his weight onto that back foot, trying to employ the layback. Counter left hand over the top again is an effective shot from McGrail. And Urali had been spoken to about the arm bar, thrusting his forearm beneath the chin of McGrail and testing that neck strength. This man moving counterclockwise. I know that these two have actually sparred each other on because Kazakhstan have been uh, you know, over to, to GB and, and shared some multi-nation training camps and some sparring sessions so these two have sparred so they know all about each other a bit of success with the one-two combination the left hand behind the right jab has got through on a couple of occasions in the preceding 30 seconds or so there's a counter left hand from McGrail after Uraliya would wide widened the mark counter right hand again from the man in red Uraliya as McGrail coming forward before the boxers fall into a clinch referees align them to work away and neither boxer really doing so McGrail slightly the quicker boxer, his hands are slightly faster. If you, if you look at Uraliev, you can see the punches coming a little bit more. He goes a little bit wide with, with his work also. And that's why McGrail, he's catching him with those sharp left hands. Left hand success for the man in red. He's now adopting a hand down posture. McGrail nudging away with shots on the inside to the body of Uraliev. 
Here's the 10 second clapper, indicating that we're coming to the concluding stages of this opening round. Duralia, wide eyed in concentration. Miguel goes in pursuit of him, but Duralia engages the reverse gear and backs up. A sporting touch of blood between the two men to end, to end what was a very good first round. Peter McGrail at the quarterfinals to eliminate Leonel de los Santos, the tournament number five seed from the Dominican Republic. But that display from Uralia against the man who would beat him two times out of two in the second preliminary round when he beat Murajon Akadalia, the reigning Olympic bronze medalist and 2015 World Championship silver medalist, was absolutely sensational. And the emotion that was expressed by Uralia when his hand was raised as he got through with a good right jab. Well, he's built upon that. He learned with a right hand when he's leading away once again. But he's built upon that. and carried that confidence throughout the tournament to this semi-final stage. Miguel tucking up tightly the time behind that right hand. But Uraliev is quickening the tempo here. Yeah, Uraliev has got a fairly wide stance, hasn't he? And he uses this layback. And it's very important for both boxers here to try and hold the centre of the ring. So Miguel just slowed his feet a little bit down there. He was caught with a couple of shots. So Miguel's got to keep hitting and moving and going round to the side. And there you look, see that better movement from McGrail. He's got to capitalize off that movement and, and make his opponent miss, and then, then he's got to score the man in blue. He's still with a good left hand just there, McGrail. Shiralia retreating the ball and to the rope, trying to lay a trap. Left hand from McGrail with an effective shot, catching Shiralia in that square on stance. Good, right, good defense with the right hand from McGrail, blocking the south ball left from Shiralia. When your opponent's feet run, it, it, it's slow. You've got to do the opposite. He wants, he wants you to stand in trade. He's trying to slow you down if, he, if his feet are very slow. So you've got to quicken up. You've got to be in, in and out, side to side. That's what McGrail's got to do. You really have occasionally, he's pulling um, Peter McGrail and making him stand in trade. So McGrail has got to hit and he's got to move. Whereas you really have, he needs McGrail to stay in one place. Moving again from the ground backwards and to his right, making the man in red miss, but there's no counter from the ground. Tried to let his hands go now, but didn't really get through anything effective. So the ground spoken to about holding his opponent, pulling down on the back of the head. Duralier, that wide legged stance and low held guard. Walking McGrail onto the end of straight punches there. And another right hand got through from Uraliev, catching McGrail coming in. Oh, terrific start for left from Uraliev. That's a beautiful shot. Good movement as well from McGrail in and out as well, Rob. Running blue, his movement's a lot better, and he's got to capitalize on, like I said before, when he makes an opponent miss, he's got to come back and score. Wonderful corks through right from McGrail, right before the bell. Both men smiling in the direction of one another as they exchange another sporting touch of love at the end of a round of high skill. Movement was wonderful. I think they'll be fairly pleased in, in, in the blue corner. Some good work went in for McGrail. Gets caught with that left hand there from Uraliev, who, who's always dangerous, isn't he? But this was a good movement there from Peter Miguel. Two or three shots, then he's off to the side, done his work, and he's back out to safety. That's good boxing. Uraliev is always dangerous, though. Straight one, two, gets through there. Buffing shot from McGrail. The movement was excellent from McGrail in this round. Look at this. Bobbin Weaver with the head. But Uraliev, like I say, he's a dangerous man. He's got a bit of power, this fella. Oh, 
of contrasting styles between the grail exhibiting some wonderful defensive maneuvers hitting at the knees swaying at the waist nice head movement Duraliev as he is now more flat footed takes a good two shot salvo to the body oh and a counter left hand over the top from the grail before again he's dipping beneath the punches but Duraliev keeps letting his hands go has them bouncing off the gloves there is a good side for left from the man in red He's starting to pick it up a little bit now, Uralia, but the first 25 seconds of this round, he, he literally fell to sleep. I thought there, Miguel did a lot better, started the round much quicker. Uralia, you know, he, he's probably got to do a lot more work than Man in Red here. South poor right, but a bit of forearm going in from Uralia. Miguel not complaining, the action continues. Again, McGrail making the man miss repeatedly. Any boxer, any veteran of the ring will tell you that's a very frustrating exercise indeed to be hitting nothing but fresh air. Good two shots, elbow to the body. He needs the elbow and a counter left hand upstairs from McGrail. Yeah, good, good work. Good boxing that was. He switched downstairs to McGrail. Two good shots. Then he, he switched the attack upstairs. He also avoided a couple of shots as well. So McGrail, when he's moving, he gets into a rhythm and he's difficult to box against. The movement's excellent there again from the man in blue. Top shot and effectively with that south four left. With the two men engage in a standoff, staring fixedly at one another. Counter right hand from the grail would pack the best drive to jab of that exchange. Working his own right hand now is Uraliev. Minute to go in the third and final round. Uraliev trying to slow the pace down, trying to draw his man. Draw a lead from his man that he can counter. The Grail remaining concentrated, switching between a high health guard and a low relaxed guard as well. And Ishiraliev feeling the pace, furtive glance over to his red corner. Perhaps inquiring as to how long he's left, but look at Uraliev. Is he playing possum here? He's just trying to look busy doing nothing to buy himself top some time I think to launch a furious rally. I think he's struggling a little bit you know, in terms of the pace and he's probably a little bit tired but he's just trying to stay on the outside and wait for the ground to come in but it's up to the ground now just to, to push this home now. This faster work that he's got. If he is feeling it, then surely McGrail has got to test his conditioning in his closing seconds, get onto the front foot and see what how the man responds. Here's the 10 second clapper. Duraliev, been playing possum for a lot of this round. Standing, looking threatening, but not doing very much at all. So how will the judges score that one? Duraliev thinks he's got it for McGrail, immediately pounds his chest and raises his right hand to the support that he's got. Here at the Sport Haller in Hamburg. It's a wicked contest. Here's the McGrail family. The gentleman in the blue t shirt is Peter McGrail's father, and you saw that England flag with the name McGrail all across the middle of the horizontal line. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. I think McGrail did the better work in this last round. Certainly, I thought Duralia was feeling the pace a little bit. But as I said, dangerous fella, isn't he? There's that left hand that goes in there, the off single shot that came from him. Better movement from McGrail. See who's got it wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by anonymous decision. In the red corner, Rick Shiraya. Rick Shiraya, the 18th yeah. red boxer in the world, goes through to the gold medal bout with a unanimous points decision victory over England's Peter McGrail. It's the world championship bronze for the man from Merseyside. Tournament number four seed eliminated at the final four stage. He looks disappointed, but I'm sure he's going to reflect on his accomplishment in the days to come with immense pride because he's boxed terrifically well. And this caps what has been a sensational year for McGrail. Continental gold in the European Championships comes away with World Championship bronze here, adding to the World Youth bronze that he won back in 2014. He wanted so much more, but it's Uraliev who goes through to the gold medal bout after a unanimous point decision win. Yeah, he got it, didn't he, Uraliev? The Grail, like you said, got a terrific year, European champion, now a bronze medal here. Um, and the judges preferred that work from Uraliev, those single shots.